Howdy folks, it's been a bit since I've posted, so I wanted to share this new pattern that I've made for a caterpillar that I'm calling a cuddle bug. So the materials you'll need are in my description below. And with that, we are ready to go. All right, so getting started with some green worsted weight yarn, I'm gonna make a magic loop. And then I'm gonna place six single crochet stitches inside of that magic loop. For my next row, I'm going to put two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So I'm increasing in each stitch. For round three, we're going to put a single crochet in the first stitch of the round. And then we're going to make our antennas by chaining five stitches. Four, five. And then slip stitching back down that chain that we've just made. So in the second loop for my hook, here's a slip stitch. We'll make four slip stitch total. And then we're going to put a decrease in the first single crochet that we've made and in the stitch behind it. So here's the stitch behind and that one decreased together. And then we're going to add one more single crochet into that stitch that we've just decreased in. Alright, we're going to continue working by placing one single crochet and then increase and we'll do that one more time so one and then increase and now we're ready to make our second antenna we'll do that by single crocheting the next stitch chaining five like we did on the other side and then slip stitching back down that chain so four slip stitch total then decreasing in the stitch that our chain's coming out of and the stitch right behind it. Then we'll add one more single crochet into that same stitch that our decrease is in. Then we'll continue putting one single crochet and then increasing until we reach the end of the round. Alright, antennas added. For our next round, we're going to do one single crochet. And then we need to make sure not to get this antenna. So flip it up so it's on the surface of your work. And then we're going to be working in the stitch just to the other side of it. Placing a single crochet inside of that stitch. And then increasing in the stitch afterwards. So you're going to repeat that pattern of one single crochet, another single crochet, and then increase all the way around, watching out for the other antenna as well.
you can see my antenna are looking good and I'm ready to go on to my next round. Alright, so for rounds five through nine, all we need to do is add one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So that's five rounds total. I'll see you after the cut. All right, I'm wrapping up round nine right here. And moving on to round 10, where we're going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then decrease by single crocheting two stitches together. Repeat that until you reach your stitch marker at the end of the round. Alright, I'm ready for round 11. I'm going to continue decreasing by putting one single crochet in the next stitch, and then single crocheting two stitches together. Like before, repeat that pattern until you reach your stitch marker at the end of the round. Alright, so next up we need to add our safety eyes and stuff our head. So flip your head over, and then we're gonna count down from the top of the head. So one, two, three, four, five, six. In between rounds six and seven, we're gonna place the safety eyes. So go ahead and grab your safety eye. Double check that you're lined up between your antenna too. So one, two, three, four, five stitches apart for your other eye. Everything looks lined up okay for me here. So I'm ready to stuff the head. head is stuffed, ready to continue working on. So reinsert your hook and tighten down, and then we're going to decrease in each stitch all the way around. Alright, head is done. Let's keep working for the body by, in the front loop only, placing three single crochet. So to find the front loop, you kind of have to dig your hook in a little bit. We're only going to be working in this loop here. So place three single crochet in the front loop of each stitch all the way around in this round. Okay, so for round 14, we're going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then increase in the stitch after. Just like before, repeat that pattern until you get to the end of this round. Okay, so for round 15, we're going to add some bobble stitch feet. So 
first we're gonna put one single crochet in each stitch all the way until we get to the stitch that lines up with the first eye. So here's my stitch. It lines up with that first eye. I'm gonna place a five double crochet bobble in this stitch. And I have a really good video tutorial on how to create a bobble stitch as well as how to do bobble stitch increases and decreases. I'm gonna pop that link up in case you'd like to watch. Okay, we're gonna continue working around by placing a single crochet to close off this bobble. Pop the bobble stitch out so it's facing on the outside of our work. And then we're gonna keep single crocheting until we get to the next stitch that lines up with our eye. So here's my next stitch, lines up with my second eye. Just like before, I'm gonna put a five double crochet bobble in this stitch too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and continue single crocheting around popping that second bobble stitch foot out first, of course. So you can see he's got his front feet. But I'm gonna continue single crocheting around until I get to the end of this round. So for the next two rounds, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. However, I like to do a decrease next to my bobble stitch feet. I talk about it a little more in length in that video I linked earlier. I'll link it again in case you'd like to see. But I'll also show you here how I like to decrease by my feet. So this first stitch is technically the stitch the bobble stitch counts as. And then there's that chain one that we made. So I like to single crochet these two stitches together. You can skip over that chain one. Like I said, check out that video if you'd like to see a little slower explanation of that. But I'm gonna continue working around just one single crochet in each stitch until I get to round 18. So now we're ready to add our next set of feet. So just like before, I'm going to single crochet in each stitch until I reach the single crochet that lines up with my first foot. That's this one right here for me. So like before, I'm gonna place another five double crochet bobble. single crocheting, of course popping that bobble stitch out so the foot's on the correct side of the body. I'll keep working until I get to the second foot from that first row. Here's the stitch that lines up with that one, so I'll go ahead and place another five double crochet bobble. Just like before, we're gonna continue putting one single crochet. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> we're gonna continue putting one single crochet in each stitch until we reach our stitch marker at the end of the round. So for the next two rounds, just like before, we're gonna put one single crochet all the way around. Remember, if you'd like to continue decreasing by the feet, you'll need to do that on this round too. All 
I'll run you through it again. Here's my decreased stitch underneath my foot. Remember, you can skip over that chain if you like, it's up to you. But continue putting one single crochet all the way around for two rounds total. Alright, I just finished my second round, so I'm ready to put my last round with feet in it. So, just like before, one single crochet in each stitch until you reach the stitch that lines up with your row of feet. Here it is for me. I'm going to put a five double crochet bobble in, just like I did before. continue working popping the bobble stitch foot out until I reach where my last foot will go which lines up with the second row of feet all right here's my last bobble stitch one single crochet until the end of the round. Alright, so next all we need to do is put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Of course remembering that if you're doing the decreases by the feet, you'll have to do that in this round too. One last time let me walk you through how to do that. So there's my first stitch and then single crocheting these two together. I'll keep working. I'll do the same thing on this foot as well. So single crocheting that chain that closed our bobble to the stitch just to the other side and then continue placing one single crochet until I reach the end of the round. to start closing this caterpillar up so we're gonna put one single crochet in the next two stitches and then single crochet two together to decrease and we'll repeat that pattern till we reach the stitch marker at the end of the round Alright, next round, we'll put one single crochet and then decrease in the next stitch. And just like before, repeat that same pattern until we get to the last stitch of the round.
Before we finish up, we need to stuff the caterpillar. So go ahead and pull yourself a long tail, grab yourself some fluff, and stuff. He is all stuffed. Let's finish it up. So go ahead and reinsert your hook. Pull your loop down tight. And then we'll finish off by decreasing in each stitch all the way around. So single crocheting two together until we get back to our stitch marker. Okay, let's finish off by taking our stitch marker out, slip stitching to our next stitch, and then cutting ourselves a long tail. Pull your last stitch through to fasten off. Give it a tug to tighten. Then we'll go ahead and thread that tail with our tapestry needle. And we'll sew through each of the six remaining stitches. Pull that tail tight to cinch the bottom of the body closed. And then we're gonna loop the tail over the surface of the work. So down and then up through that loop that we just made to tie a surface knot. Pull it tight. And then weave in any remaining tail by sewing it into the caterpillar's body then snipping the tail as close to the body as you can with your scissors. All right, last but not least, let's add his nose and his bow tie. So with your hot glue gun, your puff ball, and your ribbon bow, we're gonna go ahead and just glue them on. So all it takes is a tiny little dab of hot glue for the nose. And then to attach, just center it between the eyes and press. Same with the bow tie. Just add a little dab of hot glue to the very back. Attach it just above where the first feet go. And voila, your caterpillar is done. Like always, thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. I'd love it if you'd maybe give my channel a follow. I've got lots of things that I'd like to share. Thanks.